everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had the most wonderful Christmas and I hope that you're still somewhat in Christmas mode because I know it's the 3rd of January today but I personally I'm insisting on staying in full Christmas mode until the very last possible moment which I think is the 6th. So that means one final festive video from me. I wasn't actually going to do this video today just because I've been enjoying my time off so much um but I wasn't doing anything today and it is kind of a tradition. I have never missed what I got for Christmas on my channel in all of these years. Um, so I asked you guys on Instagram, of course, if you wanted me to do it and you all said yes, so here we are. Okay, so I will start with one of the presents from my parents and you guys are gonna laugh so much at this. You'll think I'm an actual old lady, but it's a heated blanket and I really wanted one of these because I just love being cozy in bed. For me, the worst thing in the world is being cold in bed and JJ is gonna so hate me for this because he loves being cool in bed, but I hate it. I love being warm and cozy. Every single night I sleep with a hot water bottle, sometimes even in the summer. I always sleep with my weighted blanket and another blanket as well to cuddle. So I just love being cozy in bed. And for me, this was like the most amazing thing you could ever have. I didn't realize, I thought um, heated blankets were just blankets that you put over you, but this is one that you actually put like under your sheet on your bed and it warms up the whole bed. And I just honestly can't think of anything more amazing than that. So yeah, this is the one that I've got. It's from Glam House and it has all loads of different settings. Um, you can just put like your feet on if you just want your feet to be warm or the whole body. Um, and it just sounds amazing. And I, I'm so excited to put this on. I just feel like it's gonna be life-changing. <laughs> okay, before I show you the rest of the presents from my family, I'm going to show you the presents that JJ, my boyfriend, bought me. The first has become a little bit of a tradition and something I really look forward to. He gets me my own personalized tin of Quality Streets. So as you can see, the tin has my name on and it's full of all of my favorite Quality Streets, which is only three. Whenever there's a tin of Quality Streets, I'm always that really annoying person that goes for the same one every time and suddenly there's none left of that one. So um, unless you saw my video last year or the year before, I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to guess which my three favorite Quality Streets are. I think it's really obvious because I just think they're the best three. So this is my selection. So as you can see, I have the orange cream, which is probably my first favorite. Second is the Strawberry Dream. Well, I've actually changed the name. It's Strawberry Delight now. Um, so that's my second favorite. And then my third favorite is just the classic fudge. So that's my special tin of Quality Street. I love them because they keep the festive spirit going for a good few weeks and there's none left over. <laughs> He also got me a couple of Yankee candles, which I thought was so cute. Like a boyfriend buying you a candle is just adorable, especially with Yankee candles because there's so many scents to choose from. And he got me two really amazing ones and they're both pink, which is so, so cute. So the first one is Sugared Blossom which smells so good. It weirdly smells exactly like the Alien perfume, which is one of my like long-term favorite perfumes. And JJ always buys that for me as well. So I love that that one smells like that. And then the second one is Fairy Floss, which is so cute. And this one smells just like super sweet, but not like sickly sweet. It doesn't smell as sweet as like Snowflake Cookie or um, like the marshmallow ones. It kind of has a little bit more freshness to it, if that makes sense. Like it's a little bit more sharp um, than those ones, which are very, very warm. So yeah, I really love both the smells and I love how they're both pink. I just thought that was really cute. And then my main gift from JJ, I did not expect at all. I was so surprised and I just can't believe that he chose these for me and how beautiful they are. And I'm just so happy. He got me the most beautiful diamond earrings. Now I'm gonna have to show you guys a close up of these so you can see just how stunning they are and they're on a rose gold backing which is perfect and they're just such a unique design they kind of give me like great Gatsby art deco vibes because they're very classic looking um, but they do have quite an interesting almost slightly more modern design like in the middle with those geometric shapes I just think they're so pretty they're so sparkly in the light I just think they are amazing and none of my jewelry are actually real diamonds like even these are just like fake diamonds so I finally have a useful pair of grown-up diamond earrings from my love so I just thought that was so magical and I just love them so much. I've just popped them on so you guys can see what they look like on. Oh my gosh they're so pretty and sparkly. Oh, I just love them so much I can't believe it. Although I'm going to take them out now because I just feel like they should be saved for a special occasion. Maybe not because I know life is a special occasion but there has to be something that's more special than something else because if not then I'll just wear these every single day and none of my other earrings. <laughs> so now back to some presents from my parents. I'm pretty sure that my my dad picked these few things out for me. And um, the first is this West Side Story vintage vinyl record, 
We love West Side Story so much. If anyone hasn't seen the new film, then you have to go and see it. It's amazing. You just really can't beat the songs um, from West Side Story. So I'm excited to blare these out in the flat on my record player. <laughs> Something else I'm pretty sure my dad picked up for me in Camden Market is this really gorgeous like vintage Breakfast at Tiffany's movie poster. It's so gorgeous. And as you all know, my flat is christened Breakfast at Freddy's after Breakfast at Tiffany's. And it's just such a gorgeous poster. I really want to get this framed, um, but I just don't know where to put it. I don't know if it should go like in my landing area or in here because there is like a lack of things on the wall in this room. And maybe I could do like a collection of kind of like old fashioned vintage posters like this, but um, it's so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. Another gift from my parents that my dad chose is this absolutely beautiful little book of Little Women. I was so happy when I opened this because guys, I love Little Women so much. The film is I think my favorite film. I also went to see the musical um, this Christmas with my friends because my friend's boyfriend was playing Laurie. I just love it, but I've never actually read the book. So I was so happy to open this especially in such a beautiful cover. It's honestly stunning. The pages are gold. I'll show you guys a little close up um, of all the flowers that are raised off the cover. Um, it's just stunning. It's definitely like a book to keep forever. Um, and I just love the story so much. So I was so happy to have this. And then the rest of the gifts from my parents, I think my mum has to take credit for. Um, first of all, this absolutely gorgeous spaghetti jar from Anthropology. Um, if you guys have watched my flat makeover videos and follow my flat um, Instagram, then you'll know that I love the bistro range from Anthropology. It's like a French bistro vibe, um, all in these really gorgeous, like monochromatic and gold colors. And I have a few bits already in my kitchen from this range, but I'd never seen this before. I think it must be new. Um, so this is just a really gorgeous jar to have on the side that you can put spaghetti in. I just love this range so much and she also got me the tea towel which is so adorable although she left the price on and I have to say it's very expensive for a tea towel so I feel like I'm not actually going to use this this is going to be like my display tea towel and I'll just actually use and ruin all my other ones but it's so cute I just love the pattern it has all like sparkly gold in it um but like I said I just think this is too pretty to actually use I also got a couple more books one of them is what would the queen do if you guys didn't already know I love the queen so much she is just one of my idols she is the best when life seems hard the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat instead they are all the more determined to struggle for a better future in the words of Her Majesty herself. I also got for my fashion studio, the little book of Dior. This was in my gift guide and I really, really wanted it. Um, so my parents got me this for Christmas. It's just so adorable. I have the Chanel one as well and they just look really good in my studio, but they're also really lovely to flick through, like so interesting. And um, they're not like too difficult to read because they're kind of like bite size. Um, and there's lots of like inspirational imagery in there for fashion as well. So I'm really pleased with this. Now it wouldn't be Christmas without candles, especially a Yankee candle. So this year I've got coconut rice cream, which honestly, I think is just my perfect smell. It's sweet and it's warm and friendly, but it's not sickly. It's actually quite fresh. It just smells so good. And look at the pretty pink color. Like, could that actually be more perfect? Mm, I can't wait to start burning this. And then um, I also got this set of little votive candles that kind of all have little art deco illustrations on. They're so, so pretty. They really go with the vibe of my lounge um, and they just smell amazing. The scent is pink Prosecco, <laughs> but honestly, you can like smell these before they're even out of the box. They're so strong. They smell so good. So this is what they look like. I'll do a little close up so you can see properly. They're just so vintage and glamorous and they will just go so well in this lounge. They're so the vibe. So um, I can't wait to put these out. So apart from a ton of chocolate, the last present that I got from my parents is this absolutely gorgeous swan for my flat. So if you guys didn't already know, my flat has a swan theme. It is the swan flat. Um, and I have a really magnificent swan, a much bigger Bigger than this actually hanging on the wall in the landing and this is her sister so I'm not sure exactly where she's going to go yet but she's so so beautiful she could go in here maybe um, on the windowsill or on the table 
as the centerpiece. So yeah, I really love her. I think the brand is either um, Graham and Green or Gisela Graham. I can never remember which it is, but in case you are wondering where it's from, I think that is where this is from. My sister, Coco, got me uh, my favorite body lotion from Lush in like the jumbo size. This is the Sleepy Body Lotion and it smells so amazing. It's lavender and you're supposed to put it on like when you have a nighttime shower before you go to bed to help you just feel really relaxed and like wind down and get ready to sleep. It's like lilac, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I just love Lush body products. I think they're the best. And this moisturizer is just like especially good. It leaves you feeling soft for so, so long. Um, like when you wake up in the morning, you still feel really, really good and smell really good too. I just love it. So next I thought I'd show you the present Amy got me. Um, some of you may have seen this in my vlog. She gave this to me when we met um, for tea at the Dorchester, but it was so, so pretty um, and so me that I felt like I really had to show you in this video too. Oh my gosh, as soon as you open the box, you can just smell it. There are so many great smells right now in my flat. So she got me first of all, this absolutely gorgeous candle um, from Diptyque. I really loved the box. I was like, oh my God, the pattern is so beautiful. I really hoped that the candle would have the pattern too, but it's just the plain one, which is still equally is gorgeous and this will go in every room as well not just here mm, the smell is so strong this is insulite um, which i've never had before but amy says that it's her favorite and she has this all over her house so i'm really excited to burn this um and it just looks really really cute she also got me some of my actual favorite chocolates which are the charbonnel pink himalayan salted caramel truffles these are the yummiest chocolates in the world honestly um i don't know why pink himalayan salted caramel is better than ordinary salted caramel but it is because these are the best I also received an absolutely beautiful Christmas gift from the brand Santini, who you guys know I get all of my most beautiful coats from. And this was a really kind gift from them. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love these. So it's their new faux fur headbands. These are such a beautiful alternative to wearing hats in winter. And I'm sure lots of you wear faux fur headbands already, but these are even prettier because um, they do have like a proper fasten at the back. Um, so they are secure, but they tie in a beautiful like silk satin, bow at the back that can just like trail down your hair. I mean, it's gonna look a bit stupid now um, because I already have this big black bow in my hair, but I'll just kind of show you what it would look like. So this is what it looks like when it's on. I just think it's adorable. The faux fur is so full and real looking, like really luxurious and it's just, is such a look like for winter. It's very Russian, it's very regal. And then you can't really tell um, when you have a ponytail in, but if you have your hair down, the bow will just like flow down your hair. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. And she also sent me one in pink as well. So I'm very, very grateful. I love this brand so much. I literally wear my Santini coat every single day. I don't wear any other coats anymore. Um, and these are just going to be such a staple in my winter wardrobe. So now I will show you the gifts from all the other people in my family. I'm not gonna do like a who's who. I'll just show you all of the presents. There's also been lots of sweets and chocolates um, that I'm not gonna show you because it's boring and I've also eaten half of them. <laughs> so first of all, I got a couple of kitchen bits which don't sound very exciting until you start to find these things exciting um, which I do especially when they come in the colors of my kitchen so first of all I got this cream electric whisk which is amazing because I was having to borrow my mum's when I made a few cakes before and um, so now I've got my own and it's in cream because all of the um, appliances and everything in my kitchen are cream and then I also got this like hand stick blender which is really great because as you guys know I love my Nutribullet so much I literally use it every day to make a smoothie but you can't put hot things in it so if you're making soup it's really annoying because you can't make soup in the Nutribullet. So this is going to be amazing because soup is something that I actually don't mind making because it's quite easy. You can just like throw anything in there and blend it up and it's healthy and it's quick. So I have one of these now um, and again, it's cream. So it's gonna look really cute in the kitchen. I also got this really pretty little bottle opener from Anthropology. It's gold, which goes with the kitchen and marble. So it's really pretty. I'm just thinking though, what do you actually use a bottle opener for? Beer. I've never actually had a beer. I think beer is for boys. But if I'm ever hosting and I need to open some beer bottles, or is there anything else you can open with 
this. I can't actually think, but I've got one and it's a very, very pretty one. I also got this absolutely beautiful little swan teaspoon holder. As I said before, this flat does have a swan theme and there's a little swan in every room that you have to like look for. So this will be perfect for the kitchen. And of course it's gold and everything in the kitchen and actually everything in the flat is gold. So it goes perfectly um, and it's just so, so pretty. Such a lovely little thing to have on the side. I'm sure you guys had spotted this in the background. Um, and this was also in my gift guide, but I actually got this for Christmas as well, which I was so, so happy about because I also have the Dior one that I got for my Christmas and birthday from my auntie last year. And this year um, I got the Yves Saint Laurent one too, which I'm so happy to add it to my collection. They look so beautiful, like on a coffee table or on a shelf, which is where I have mine in my fashion studio. They're just so, so gorgeous. They are full of beautiful, beautiful photography and imagery and illustrations all of which I'll be finding very inspiring when I'm working in my fashion studio this year. I just love getting things like this for Christmas and birthdays because they are not really the kind of things that you buy for yourself because they are really expensive. Um, so I'm so, so happy with this. Something else that I featured in my gift guide that ended up under my tree um, is this absolutely beautiful laptop bag from Stuckers. When I featured this, I just knew that I needed it because I take my laptop everywhere. Like even if I don't intend to do any work, I always just take it just in case because you never Never really know um, and I always just kind of like fling it in a bag it's not very protected like I haven't taken great care of my laptop and I am going to be buying a new one for the first time I think this year so I really need to protect it and this bag is so perfect like it's really nice and padded and it's the perfect size for the big um, MacBook Pro which is the one that I have and it's also got a lot of other compartments like in and around the bag which is perfect for staying organized with work stuff um, and it's just the most gorgeous color beautiful leather um, and I'm just really really happy with this I really needed this and then some bits and bobs to finish off the video I got these really beautiful matches which sounds really random but me and my family honestly have a thing for like pretty matches and oh my gosh I just love the box on these matches it's so pretty it's two lions under like an orange tree with a butterfly it's really random I don't know what it means but it's so pretty and then the matches are pink as well which is so adorable. I got some gorgeous molten brown bath oil. This is the suede aura scent, which I don't think I've smelled before, but it's pink um, and I can't wait to use this. I need a good reason to get in the bath as well because normally I'm more of a shower person. I got this really lovely little Christmas tree decoration and I was really hoping that someone would buy me a Christmas tree decoration because this is my first Christmas tree and all of the decorations I basically bought for myself. Um, so I was hoping to have one like from a special family member to add to the collection because I really want the tree to be a little bit more sentimental over time and I just love this one it's a little gingerbread house but all of the snow or the frosting is sparkly um it's just perfect it goes with my tree so so well the only thing is I'm gonna have to find a little pink ribbon or a white ribbon because the red is not the vibe but I really love it I can't wait to put it on the tree next year just like candles it would not be Christmas without something Disney so I also got this absolutely adorable little mug well it's actually really big which is perfect for a big hot chocolate um, and it's Beauty and the Beast so it has all of these really pretty little drawings on and it's rose gold as well so I just can't wait to have a big hot chocolate in this and then the final present is very funny it's from my granny she's basically knitting everyone in the family a doll so we all have a knitted doll but they're all very very customized um, to like what colors we like and styles so here is mine <laughs> she is so so cute all in pink of course um, she has a little pink sparkly dress with a bow, with pink stripy stockings, pink hair and pink bows on her shoe and in her hair. She's amazing and she also has her name on her bum but I can't tell you guys because it's a secret. It's actually my middle name which I will not be revealing in this video today but it is something that I think you guys will finally find out um, a little bit later on this year. I know that will sound so weird to new followers um, but I basically have never told you guys my middle name um, but I'm going to be telling you guys for a reason later on this year. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I am going to have some very big news to share um, quite soon. So guys that's everything I for Christmas this year. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I would also really love to hear from you guys in the comment section what kinds of videos you'd like to see from me this year. So just thank you so much for being here and supporting me this year. I will always be so so grateful and I just wish you all the merriest of Christmases and happiest of New Year's. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.